guys, this is Kelly with CampAddict.com. Today, this is my new best friend, love it. It is an electric jack, which is going to save my little poor back, which almost goes out every time I use it. We are replacing this manual old piece of doo-doo. No bueno. I mean, it was good for a while, but this is going to be a lot better. So, without much ado, let's get to it. So I opened the box and here it is. It looks lovely. Um, but the part that I'm probably most excited about and understand the most is this. Remote controls, yeah. So uh, let's get it out. So we ended up taking off the old shack. And in order to do so, we needed to have support. We didn't want this to fall down. So clearly we had to connect the truck. So we connected the truck. We actually traveled are and now we're going to install the electric jack which is going to go boop, right here in this hole and to make it easier we're going to take these suckers off so my tank can need to come off so here we go <laughs> Marshall tightened it not me okay here we go for real ow god okay I'm making Marshall do my dirty work Pretty easy. Unscrew the top. Take both of them off. Set aside so they're not in your way. Well, this part's the easy part I'm going to install. This is the part I'll be doing. Probably let Marshall do most of the rest. So yeah, well this is just slide down the hole. Just like that. That wasn't hard. I did really good. I think I did really good. Okay, so in the box it's going to tell you to use your old but my hardware was pretty nasty wear, so I just decided to get some new bolts. That's what they're called, bolts. And they give you these little washers, and these washers are supposed to go on the very top. So you do put those on the top before you put the bolt through. Let's see if I can get this. Not gonna wanna work. This was the screwy one, by the way, everybody. So let's try another one. Okay, look at that. So, and that's what I'm going to do with all three. Get them all bolted in and secure. And then I'll have Marshall tighten them. So we need to get this little end connector connected to the red dude here, which is attached to, what is this? Circuit breaker. Okay, we need this little circuit breaker attached. So Marshall is going to strip the end. He has all the handy dandy tools that I do not have. And then we will put this in here and crimp it and hopefully solder it as well. To go. Okay, now we're going to crimp it. Give that bad boy a good squeeze. The wind is kicking up, so thank you, wind. <laughs> you gave it a couple good squeezes. So, is that all you need to do? Yeah, it's pretty tight right now, but I just want to see if I can solder it on here and make a even better connection. Okay guys, so if you're like me and you don't know how to do this kind of stuff, just hire somebody to do it for you or find a friend. But we have a little solder tool on the left, and what's that on the right on your hand? Solder. Oh, okay. So we're going to melt this sucker together. Here we go. Isn't that cool? Neato. So what, this is ensuring a really good connection? Correct. Okay. Probably helping it stick too. Is that it? That's it. So we also have to do the other side. So same thing. He's going to strip the end. And we have 
to take it out to the jack itself and what? Solder it to the power wire on the jack itself. That's what I was going to say. Solder it to the wire on the power jack itself. Okay, so we have the circuit breaker doohickey. What is that called? Circuit breaker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it right. This is the, the cord that comes from the actual jack. And we need to connect these two bad boys. So he's going to take the shrink wrap and slide it down over the jack wire. And then we're going to solder these two bad boys together. And then we will slide that shrink wrap back up, covering that little spot that we soldered. Boom, it's like one wire. Yay for one wire. See, this is why I don't do this stuff. That's scary. Ooh, gosh, <laughs> it's really hot. Running up the wire. Hopefully this goes well. And uh I'm going to run the rig down. Okay, fire flames, flames. <laughs> Try to make the flame now. What's the map? My phone. Good lord. Yeah, if this makes you nervous, hire a professional. Take it in somewhere. So the final step is to move this little piece back over the part that we soldered. And he's using this heating device to shrink wrap it, as you can see how it tightens around the wire. Pretty cool. Here we have the final result. It's not super pretty, but it'll work. So now we just need to take this end and attach it to a positive terminal on my battery. Okay, now we have the wires connected. So next step is to connect this to my battery. So I need to take the negative lead off first and then the positive. Let's see if Marshall tighten this too or if I can get it. These are the parts I like. Ah, why is it sparking? Take the negative off. Okay. The other night, oh, yeah, that was fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't like this stuff. Okay, it says come off this off? Yep. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, now that I didn't get electrocuted, it's time to connect everything back together. Yay. Marshall has thoroughly explained to me how to do this in what order. That one, positive. Uh, okay, we'll tighten this sucker down. I haven't gotten shocked yet. Okay, then don't. I hate it when it does that. Why does it do that? My batteries are always sparking on me. <laughs> I suppose it wouldn't hurt too much, but I don't want to get shocked. Gosh, dang electricity. Okay, supposedly it's all connected and we're ready to go. So hopefully I'm going I'm to use the remote. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it comes down. Have a working jack. Just need to put the foot on it. All right. So happy. Okay, so uh, we ran into a little bit of a snafu while putting this little foot here on. Um, it was too low, so we got creative and actually just dug a hole. So this should work now, but just know this is something you may run into, a problem you might run into if you're hitched up to your truck instead of jacked up. not sure at this point which one to put it on but I guess as time goes on I, I will adjust it as needed so fair enough okay so this is another piece to the puzzle this thing is going to hold the power cord for me so it's out of the way when I'm not using it it comes with these two little sticks pretty simple I'm just gonna stick the little sticks through the holes on the side it does have a rough edge we're gonna have to figure out which way the rough edge goes but 
Now this is going to wrap around the back of the jack. We'll slide it through the little hole here and then it's tightened by a screw. So we'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so I've decided to install mine on the back side here and um, I kind of pre-did this and started to wrap the top one around and it broke. So that's not so good. So there's that. But I'm going to take this and I slide it on. I'm going for the inside because I'm pretty sure it's the inside we're supposed to do. It won't go. And I don't know why it's being a butt. Maybe I have it backwards. It won't go at all. Oh, okay. So apparently that thing must be pushed out. I'm not reading directions, guys. I don't read directions. <laughs> All right, so get that pushed out. That slid in there. Boom, chicka boom. There we go. Now we're going to have to figure out what to do with this top part since um, it broke on us. Okay, so it's actually been a few weeks since we last recorded. And um, during that time, this little guy broke. So we never contacted the company or anything. We just went ahead and just used our own it looks like a regular zip tie will work. So, I'm going to install it now. I decided to put it along the back side here. So that's all it is. This little guy has to be pushed out a little bit. Slide that sucker in there. And you're gonna need a screwdriver to tighten it down. All right, you want it to be high up, of course, so you can get the plug in there. I'm gonna do it kind of angled this way, and then I'm going to not working out so well. I think I'll do the bottom one first since that's the real one. Okay, so this has to be pushed in in order for you to get this little dude in there. It's a little feisty. Okay, and it, it's actually tightening as I go. So I've been doing it this way and then I'm actually, I think I like it right here. It's easier to get to. I'm gonna leave it right here. So push this in as tight as you can get it and then you have to tighten it down using a handy dandy screwdriver. So clearly if you have the actual real parts, it's gonna be easier to install. So let me try this guy again. So this one I'm gonna to have to hold tight while I screw it on. Okay, because this one did the zip tie action it's supposed to, this one's not because it's too skinny. making noises as if it's really hard to screw in <laughs> It's not really that hard. Well, it doesn't want to turn anymore and it's not tight at all, so this may not work. Okay, well that was fun. Since this doohickey broke, we had to MacGyver it and kind of jerry-rig it with this just regular old zip tie. Highly recommend calling the company if yours breaks. Get a new one of these, it's gonna be more secure. But this worked. It did take two of us though, one person to pull and the other person to push just to keep it tight while the screw got tightened. So the whole point of this is to be able to take your seven pin connector and stick it right in there. So that's gonna help protect it from rain, from dirt, whatnot. And that's pretty cool. I used to have a little cap I put on the end, but uh, keeping track of that thing was not easy for me. So. I've really enjoyed this jack. It's done a great job. No problems with it so far. I hope there are none. And yeah, my back's really happy too. But that's it. Great little super brute. Um, have nothing bad to say about it. It's been a lifesaver and a backsaver. So thanks for watching, guys.